Most people are tied up in a rat race now and they're living you know, in crowded cities and traffic and that. You just don't have that out on the island and that's a big change for people, you know. They forget about everything, so they've nothing to worry about. All they've got to do is put one foot in front of the other. From its base at the Abbey Glen Castle Hotel in Clifton, Connemara Safari have been taking visitors island hopping in the west of Ireland for 15 years. Archaeologist Jerry McCluskey heads up the tours. My first career was in the hotel business and I had a couple of restaurants and I was running them with my wife and unfortunately Mary died and that took me off on a different track in life and ended up here. Jerry's business partner is hotelier Brian Hughes. Brian runs the Abbey Glen with his dad Paul. By accident I met him in Dublin one night and I just started these tours and I begged him to come to Connemara to help me get the business up and running. So he came down kind of, I suppose, semi-reluctantly. But we've worked together now for 15 years. He's got an incredible wealth of knowledge of the islands, of the archaeology, of the history. He's got a talent for that I would never have. In the 15 years Connemara Safari have been in business, visitors have grown in number from just 12 to hundreds of walkers every year, with Jerry's wealth of knowledge providing a unique holiday experience. A lot of people are interested in islands, but they don't know how to go about assessing them, you know? They don't know where the boats are, what time the boats are, will they have somewhere to stay, where can they eat? All this is packaged for them. So they have a chance to walk and see three islands, which you normally couldn't do. It's what a way to spend the summer, you know? You're out in the fresh air, away from everything out in the island. Walking tourism brought half a million visitors to Ireland in the past year, but Jerry treats each of his guests with individual attention. Your primary aim is to make sure that the people enjoy themselves. And by doing that, you'll enjoy yourself. And at the end of the week, you know, when they say they had a great time and it was fantastic, uh, that's your reward. Jerry and Brian have agreed to take on an apprentice whose dream is to own and operate a walking tours business in the future. Terry Lambert from Dublin is looking to change his life and turn his passion for walking into a new career. At the moment, I'm working in IT now the last 10, 12 years. People depend on technology so much now. People will scream if they can't get their emails or if their mobile phones left at home, they'll have a panic attack. I think it's the right time for me to try something entirely different. Terry always had a passion for walking and a recent trip to New Zealand has fired his drive to pursue it professionally. I used to do a lot more hill walking when I was younger in the Scouts and I, I always did enjoy it. Then when I came back from New Zealand to uh, look into making hill walking my career. So I looked into setting up my own business. Making the change from IT consultant to walking tour operator is a big leap and will mean taking risks. There is great uh, security financially, definitely with IT, but I also think setting up a hill walking company and an outdoor activity pursuit, it'd be very silly not to. And spend the next 20 years working for something and thinking about what you could have been doing. Terry is making his way to the town of Clifton in County Galway. At this stage of the journey, he has no idea of who his master will be. I would be hoping for somebody that is good with people, just relate to them and uh, make, it, make it accessible for them. Enthusiasm would be a big thing. There's a great potential and opportunity for him to learn quite a lot, so I'm going to have a lot of questions for him. It gets quite repetitive. You're doing the same tour every week. So you've got to bring a freshness to it as if it was the first time you were doing it. It doesn't matter how you feel, you can be tired, you've got to get over it and get on with it. While you're on tour, you've got to be there, you're on stage. Jerry has left a map and some instructions for him. Please follow the directions and make your way to the Darcy Monument, marked with an X on a map. I'm looking forward to meeting you, Jerry. Yeah, I think I'll be a very good apprentice. I'm very keen to learn, so I imagine that's what the apprentice is all about, uh, learning from the master. So hopefully the apprentice will find that he is a good teacher. <laughs> Whether I'm a good master or not, that's another thing. <laughs> hey, hey. How are you doing? <laughs> You're welcome to Clifton. Thanks very much. <laughs> You're a good broad back. <laughs> you'll need it, you'll need it. Yeah. <laughs> they were telling me it was going to be sort of this blonde, you know. Today, yeah. <laughs> oh, I used to be blonde. <laughs> so you're here with us for the week now, yeah? I am, yeah. so I believe, yeah. Down from yeah. Dublin? 
I am, so this yeah, is all, yeah. This is all strange, eh? No it's traffic all, jams. No, no. no. <laughs> We're looking for a tough week from you now. There'll be lots of, lots of little jobs to be done, you know, and I can yeah. take it easy, hopefully, you know? Hopefully not too tough, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Jerry takes Terry back to base at the Abbey Glen to meet Brian. So we're working together 15 years. We've never had a row, you know, so that's, that's a good sign. Not only is he a wealth of incredible knowledge, which you'll see throughout the next few days, but he's got a great way of people and good personality and a great chef. Great dancer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> very and if you, if you believe all that, you believe anything. <laughs> very eligible, you know. <laughs> This is Gilbert. Yeah, this is okay. the duty manager but, uh, of Abigail yeah. Gilbert. When Brian's away, he's in charge. Oh, he's so always in charge. Be, yeah. And he's OK to touch, is he? Oh, yes, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the guests have arrived for this week's tour, and as they enjoy their pre-dinner drinks, Terry gets to meet them and see Jerry in action for the very first time. You're all very welcome to Abbey Glen, to Connemara, and you've all met our apprentice. This is Terry, and I'm Jerry. Here's a good week, plenty of walking, plenty of sun, plenty of crack. <laughs> cheers, 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 cheers. For the guests, the fun is just beginning, but Jerry has other plans for his apprentice. Yeah, so we're going for a bit of dinner now, are we? You're going for dinner? No, yeah. I'm going for dinner. You're going to get all the rucksacks packed for tomorrow. And don't forget anything, because if you forget it, you're bunched, because tomorrow you're out in the middle of nowhere. If you forgot something, there's, there's no backup. So that should keep you going when I'm having dinner in here. So off you go now. <coughs> Like it's learned an awful lot from him, and he's very easy to talk to as well. He doesn't seem like a too much of a slave driver, <laughs> although uh, I am making all the sandwiches. I think we've got a good one here. Uh, I was watching him tonight with the pee, but he's very relaxed. I like that relaxed attitude, you know. The first impressions, I think, thumbs up all around. I didn't know what to expect, really, but the sounds that he's been telling me. It doesn't seem that he's going to push me too hard, which is good. As night falls on day one, is Terry underestimating his master? It's day two and Gilbert the Parrot is overseeing operations. Jerry has a list of jobs for Terry to complete before they hit the road. So I'm going to put you in charge of all this. We don't have that much time. Don't forget the luggage, jackets, boots, sticks, and then what we don't need, back in. As the group are left waiting for Terry, Jerry loses his patience. Terry, come on, pronto. Terry, you got to think of yourself last. All people put their own luggage in. You should have been doing that. So you got to get organised before anybody else. And if, if you have to leave something behind, you leave your stuff behind. Look after the people all the time. Come on, sack, sack. You have six miles now to walk with that. <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> The tour begins heading along the Connemara coast towards Killary Harbour. The group stop at Kylemore Abbey, the oldest of the Irish Benedictine abbeys. It was built in the 1860s by... Jerry gives them an insight into its history. And he helped his tenants improve their lands. But he built a huge walled garden just about a quarter of a mile behind the abbey. As the group begin their walk in Killary, Terry must carry a bag weighing a few stone for six miles. Get yourself comfortable with it, you know. We're off Shanks Mare from here on in. The group are walking the Famine Road in Killary. Dating back to 1846, the road was built during the Great Famine to give relief work to locals.